Hey everybody, and welcome back! This is night two of our rotational dining aboard the Disney Wish. Here we are having dinner at Arendelle, which is clearly themed after the movie Frozen. Tonight's celebration is all about Anna and Kristoff's engagement. The theming throughout this experience is already super detailed and spot on with the movie. The entertainment is supposed to be fantastic, and the food delicious. I cannot wait any longer to show you what this is all about, so let's jump right in. Taking a walk down the hallway to get to our reservation, you may notice some artwork that seems a tad bit familiar. As we get closer to the most famous picture in this hallway, everyone knew this line, and I'm sure you do as well. But if not, go ahead, Anna, kick us off. Hang in there, Jones. Walking in, we can see that this restaurant is clearly decked out for a celebration, and I am here for it. As with all rotational dining, you will have the same table number along with the same wait staff, which makes it super convenient because they've already learned all about your food preferences and if you have any allergies. The hardest part for me is always trying to decide what to order. So we decided to sample a couple appetizers just to make sure that we tried everything. But once that decision is made, sit back, relax, and enjoy the entertainment. Well, Anna and Kristoff may not be here yet, but the bread certainly is, so let's begin. Appetizer number one is the cheese and rosemary ham tart with gala apples and Williams pear compote. I decided to try a cup of the carrot soup which had caraway and rye. Then we got an order of the baked scallops which had shrimp bisque, rainbow carrots, lox, and was enclosed in a delicious flaky pastry. Thankfully our kiddo has a very diverse palate when it comes to food, so she decided to try the split pea soup which had ham and potatoes in it. Last, we decided to get an order of the cucumber, potato, and carrot salad. This was light, crisp, and refreshing, especially with the citrus vinaigrette dressing.
any good musical intermission calls for a snack break. In our case, it's time to order some entrees. Our order has been placed, and now it's time to mingle with some characters. For dinner, I decided on the ribeye. This came with a double baked potato, butter broccoli, sweet honey roasted carrot, and a cabernet jus. For the next entree, I won't even pretend to pronounce this name. This was braised meatballs, rosemary cream reduction, egg noodles, and a lingonberry chutney. Think about a lunch from Ikea, just bigger meatballs. Well, bravo to Oaken and Kristoff for a marvelous duet. Honestly, I think they pulled that one off better than the original, if I have to be honest. Anyway, now it is time for the most important part of the evening, dessert. Well, she likes up
here we are with yet again another portion of the meal that I cannot pronounce. This was a lovely butter cake with baked almond meringue, vanilla cream, and a berry compote. Awesome, thank you. What'd you get, Sophia? I got a sundae. There's chocolate syrup. See? Yeah. We also got an order of the cute little Norwegian pancakes. This had pancakes, lingonberry jam, and a white chocolate cheesecake. And I am not too proud to admit that I went for the coronation sundae. This was mint chocolate chip ice cream, marshmallows, whipped cream, and snowflake sprinkles. Don't judge me. Yes, it's a child's dessert, but man, was this good. As Anna would say, I wanna stuff some chocolate in my face. As you can see, this was a big production. This was a really good quality meal. There was a lot of moving parts here, especially when it came to all of the cast members between the wait staff and the characters. The music was fantastic. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that duet out of my head, and I'm not mad at that, to be honest. This was such a wonderful experience, especially for our kiddo who's a big Frozen fan. She was able to wear her dress from the Bippity Boppity Boutique from the night before here to dinner, and it just worked out really well. Well, that's going to be a wrap on our video of Dinner at Arendelle. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. We had a fantastic time here. The overall theme was just delightful. The ambiance was really special. The entertainment, I mean, made us laugh, made us cheer, made us sing. Grown adults singing in a restaurant. I am all for it. This was a great meal. I cannot wait to come back here sometime. Now it's time to head back to the room and enjoy the nighttime views from our veranda. Please, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit like. And as always, please make sure that you subscribe and we will catch you in the next one.